Over the past eight videos, we've explored the rationale behind the SCA's coffee value assessment, the history that got us here, and the research that supports it. First, we began with the question, what is specialty coffee? After revisiting the attributes definition of specialty coffee and how it offers us a tool to measure value, we then explored theories of value. We focused in on the subjective theory of value, which shows the ways that an economic value of a product is based on the subjective preferences of buyers and sellers. To understand those preferences, we then needed to spend some time understanding the different kinds of sensory tests we can use, how they were applied in the 2004 cupping system, and how we sometimes misapply them. These two things, wanting to correctly apply these sensory tests and leverage them for a better understanding of how coffee and value is generated, are at the core of the changes we've made to evolve the 2004 cupping system into the coffee value assessment. We then began to review each of the four individual assessment types that make up the holistic CVA. First, the descriptive assessment, where you'll record information about a coffee's sensory attributes using basic olfactory references tied to the World Coffee Research Sensory Lexicon. You'll use this assessment to record the intensity of each category, check all that apply descriptors, and write freely elicited descriptors. Next, we reviewed the effective assessment, a method the CVA uses to assess acceptance, liking, or preference by asking you to rate your impression of quality for each category on a nine-point hedonic scale. This assessment also includes an overall impression of quality, defects, and uniformity. Afterwards, we briefly covered the physical assessment where users will record physical information about a green coffee, including color, defects, moisture content, and size. Finally, we reviewed the extrinsic assessment, which documents informational attributes of a coffee and why we've added this new assessment to the CVA. The coffee value assessment is not just about the individual assessments that we reviewed here. It's also about the larger project that we're undertaking to create an accessible database that addresses the lack of information that exists in our industry. This is a long-term project to understand and reflect cupping preferences all around the world in a searchable value discovery tool for both buyers and sellers. We'll continue to build, test, and release these assessments, protocols for their use, digital applications, and more over the next few years. If you're interested in learning more or have questions, I'd encourage you to visit sca.coffee slash value assessment. It's where we're collating the latest updates about this project. Thank you so much for joining me here to learn about the coffee value assessment. We're so excited and grateful that you've taken the time to explore the theories behind this system.